Hi everyone, it's Phil here from Ashland Leather and I'm back with another batch of irregular items that are now available on our website, ashlandleather.com. This is actually our second drop this week. If you're not familiar with our irregular items, these are all discounted for small cosmetic issues. These are things that we catch in our process that many people don't notice. So let's start off first and look at this tall Tony the Ant with some exceptional western green shell cordovan on the exterior. You can see as I spin this around, the color sort of ranges from a darker more forest green color to a little bit more of a lighter green shade and on the inside we've got the standard traditional shell cordovan these are green pieces of shell cordovan without the texture and we've cut a nice horween ink stamp into the center let's keep it going we got a lot of stuff to look at Tony the Ant, color number eight shell cordovan here. Really nice piece of color eight shell cordovan. On the irregulars, you might see some small scuffs and scratches in the leather, or maybe you'll see some slight miss stitching. Here's another Tony the Ant that we can look at. This one is color number four shell cordovan. It's slightly lighter, more of a medium brown with reddish undertones as opposed to the color eight. So let's compare these two side by side. Color eight in the left, color four on the right. And on the inside of this one, more color number four shell cordovan. Up next is my favorite shell color. This is the Amaretto shell cordovan. It's a really nice vibrant orangey tan shade. On the inside, more Amaretto shell cordovan. And here's a cool one. Color number eight shell cordovan on top of natural shell cordovan for the exterior. And the interior has some really interesting reverse ultraviolet shell card holders. This is a natural Chrome Excel Tony the Ant. You can see the pull-up effect down the spine of this wallet. So when you flex the leather on any Chrome Excel leather, we reveal a little bit of these lighter undertones, and that's what's known as the pull-up effect. On the inside, we have more natural Chrome Excel. This is an English tan Dublin Tony the Ant. It happens to be our most popular leather and color right now. This particular piece of English tan Dublin it's a little bit lighter and more yellow than most of the English tan that we tend to see. Here's a look at the inside of this one. Another Dublin Tony the Ant to look at. This is color number eight, but this is the Dublin leather. So let's compare the Dublin and the Shell Cordovan. So on my right hand, we've got the Dublin leather. It's much more grainy and textured when compared to the Shell Cordovan, which is very, very flat and smooth. And when this color has been translated onto the Dublin leather, you'll notice it's a little bit more purple. It's got like a little bit more red to it, but the color eight Dublin is definitely a burgundy shade. And let's move on to some Bugs Morans here. This is just like the Tony the Ant, except it's a little bit smaller and without a bill slot. So it's ideal for a front pocket wallet. This is a piece of natural Shell Cordovan. And of course I have it upside down. We also have natural Shell Cordovan on the interior. Here's another Bugs Moran in color number eight shell cordovan i was noticing that this particular piece of shell is really really nice really bright and shiny very flat and smooth here's a look at the interior of this one again upside down of course and one more bugs moran to look at this is the green shell cordovan unlike some of the other green shell cordovan that we have done in the past these have the natural waxed and burnished edges so we don't have the green hand staining like we've done on some of those pre-order green shell items on the inside, we've got more green shell cordovan. Let's take a look at some more minimalist items. The first one here is magenta shell cordovan on top of marbled blue shell cordovan card holders. And that's a very subtle blue marbling on these top two card holders. On the back, we've got the same idea, magenta shell cordovan on top of the marbled blue. And here's another Frank the Enforcer. This one is English Tan Dublin, a really nice piece of English Tan Dublin. On the back, we also have that same English Tan Dublin. This is another color number eight Dublin piece, this time on the Frank the Enforcer. I was noticing it's pretty difficult for me to capture this color on the uh, images that I put up for the product pages, but it's definitely a really nice burgundy shade. And here's a look at the back of this Frank the Enforcer. And we have a couple two-shot card cases to look at. This is another English tan Dublin piece. It's a little bit different than our Frank the Enforcer. It's a little bit smaller and the name gives it away for the two-shot. There are two card holders on this one. They're designed for credit cards and it won't fit US dollars unless you fold them into thirds. One more two-shot card case to look at. This is another color eight Dublin piece, that really nice burgundy shade. And we have a couple Capones in the irregular sale today. This first one is Black Shell Cordovan. Pretty nice piece of black shell here. On the inside, we also have Black Shell Cordovan with a very nice Horween ink stamp cut right into the center. And one more Capone Money Clip to look at. This is a pretty nice piece, although there are some scuffs and scratches on the leather. Natural Shell Cordovan here. It's a really dramatic color shift on this particular piece. At this angle, it's a little darker, more red and brown. And as I sort of spin it, you can see it's a little bit more golden and yellow. Here's a look at the inside where we have more natural shell cordovan. In the drop today, I also have a couple passport holders. The first one here is reverse black shell cordovan. Really cool look. 
on the reverse side of the black shell cordovan and you'll notice that reverse side of the black shell in the center here is actually green and that's because the dyes that they used for the black shell happen to be a greenish black shade and then when they dip the leather into a barrel of water after applying those black stains we end up with a little bit of this green color on the unintended reverse side of the leather and on the inside we have more reverse black shell cordovan a little bit darker and more green on the interior as opposed to this more tan a little bit more of a pale green on the outside here's another pretty nice passport holder and this is a good passport holder to compare to the one we just looked at this is the shell side of the black shell cordovan so you can see black shell cordovan on the interior the centerpiece here inside the middle of this passport holder is a little bit darker than what we normally see on the reverse side of the black shell cordovan here's a look at the exterior of this passport holder and we have a few fat herbies to look at the first one here is also in black shell cordovan check that out pretty nice piece of black shell here you can see the little divot marks these are from the stitching for the card holders on the other side of the wallet Here's a look at the interior. And again, this is a pretty nice piece of shell cordovan, although there are some little dull spots on the right side here and a little dent on the top. Here's another fat Herbie. This one is in the color number eight shell cordovan. Again, really bright, shiny luster on this particular piece of shell. And it's a pretty nice piece of color eight shell. You will see some scuffs and scratches on this leather. In fact, on most of the irregulars, you might see some scuffs and scratches. The wallets tend to wear in to get those scuffs and scratches anyways. So it's definitely not starting off pristine, but you can kind of expect it to wear in that way. It will accumulate scuffs and scratches. And the interesting thing about most of the leathers that we use is those scuffs and scratches tend to blend in pretty nicely. This wallet here is a really nice piece of natural shell cordovan. Just take a look at how nice that color is and then the bright, shiny luster really glassy smooth on the exterior of this and the interior card holders we have more natural shell cordovan here's another fat herbie and this one has a funny irregularity to it this is english tan dublin on the outside our most popular leather and color and the reason that this wallet is irregular is because the stamp on the top right here that's actually upside down normally you put the stamp on the bottom right of these wallets here's another very funky one it's pretty interesting reverse black shell cordovan but we have these lines and they're sort of burn marks in the leather I'm not sure, 100% sure at least, why this has happened, but what this looks like to me is it looks like hot water has hit the leather and sort of rolled off in a direction. It's actually cooked the leather a very slight amount. Recently, a few people have been asking me about overheating their leather. It's creating little dull spots. Every veg tan leather will cook at a certain temperature for a certain amount of time. Normally it's around 130 degrees Fahrenheit for maybe about a half hour. It tends to change the appearance of the leather. This is slightly different. It's almost like the water has etched the leather so you can actually feel the texture. We have that same look on the inside. One more fat Herbie to look at. This is natural Chrome XL. Really nice subtle sheen to the Chrome XL here. The sheen that you see here on the Chrome XL is a result of a nice polishing job to the grain layer of this particular leather. Very nice subtle sheen to it. On the inside, we have more natural Chrome XL. And let's finish it off with our most popular style. We've got some Johnny the Foxes to look at. The first one here is a natural Chrome XL. The natural Chrome XL is a difficult leather for us to work with because it will accumulate mild scuffs and scratches, sometimes in our just our regular sewing process. So you can see a little bit of a mark on the top right here. That's not something that we're able to polish out. And a little stuffs and scratches on the outside. This is one of our thick natural Chrome Excel Johnny the Foxes. So it's a little bit thicker than most everything else we're about to look at. Here's a fun one. This was one of our private stock Father's Day items. Cobalt Blue Dublin on the outside. You can see this one has become particularly creased on the outside but it does show you a little bit of the lighter undertones to this cobalt blue Dublin leather. And if you look down the spine of this one, you can see it's a little bit more aqua blue where I flex and crease the leather, sort of revealing the lighter color range of the cobalt blue Dublin. And we also have the yellow stitching on the exterior. On the interior, check this out, yellow horsehide latigo. And this has also become creased. I think this is my stunner for the irregular batch today. This is the M's Chrome Excel horsehide on the outside. So this M's Chrome Excel 
is a variation on the Chrome Excel leather. It's more grainy. The M for M's Chrome Excel stands for mechanical, and these were originally supposed to be used for motor seals and gaskets. So it's a little bit more of a natural appearance, a little bit more rugged and less polished than the standard Chrome Excel. On the inside of this one, we have some reverse color H shell cordovan. And here's my favorite color combo that we do, the black Dublin with the teal Latigo on the inside. This one we're gonna heavily discount because it has been personalized for CC Smith. Another black Dublin Johnny the Fox to look at. This one is black on the outside with incredible grain character. And we also have black horsehide Latigo on the interior. And another Johnny the Fox here. This is actually our most popular wallet right now. English tan Dublin on the outside. And we've matched it with English tan Dublin on the inside. Another Dublin wallet. I think this was also part of our Father's Day event. This is color number eight Dublin. You can see the lighter color range as I flex and crease the leather, especially down the spine of the wallet. Definitely a little bit more cherry red for the undertones and darker brown on the surface. And we have some cream color stitching along the border that plays and hints off the interior of this wallet. This is natural Latigo on the interior. The next two wallets we're gonna look at, these are actually very, very difficult for us to keep in stock. This is 100% black shell cordovan. Of course, this is an irregular for some small cosmetic issues. All these little marks on the outside here, that's because uh, there's a little bit of wax. This sort of waxy, hazy look is from the Saphir Cordovan Cream that we apply to the Shell Cordovan. But I can easily polish that out, maybe just show you the difference here. And on the inside of this, we have more black shell cordovan. This is the tricky part. It's very difficult for us to get the naturally thin pieces of Shell Cordovan for the interior of the Johnny the Fox. And the last thing to note about these 100% shell cordovan items, we have a hand-stained edge. So the black shell cordovan gets a black stained edge. And here's the counterpart to the last wallet. This is 100% color number eight shell cordovan. So you can see color eight shell on the outside, color eight shell cordovan on the inside. And then we have that color eight hand-stained edge on this one also. This is another black shell cordovan piece with a reverse interior. You can see the green color on the inside. This is the reverse side of the black shell again. There's another Johnny the Fox with a reverse interior. This time it's a reverse color eight interior with natural shell cordovan on the outside. And I wanna come back to my stunner of the day. <laughs> I just wanna talk about this one a little bit more. Incredible grain character on this M's Chrome Excel especially in the horse front, you get this really dramatic grain texture. And this character is very, very different than the natural Chrome Excel that we normally see. So here's, here's a piece of natural Chrome Excel. This is the Tony the Ant on the left. Take a look at the grain. Very, very flat and smooth on the traditional Chrome Excel. Whereas on the M's Chrome Excel, it's very grainy and textured. And this is a pretty special Johnny the Fox. This must have been a made to order item that we had to irregular. So thanks for checking out everything in the video today. If you're interested in one of these irregular items, everything's at least 20% off and they'll be available on the sale page of our website, ashlandleather.com. All right, until next time, I hope you have a good one.